everybody. Hi. Welcome back to another Spec Egg Adventure. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be reviewing our track footage uh, back um, in early October when we visited West Track. We're going to start out with my footage first, so I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the setup of the car. Pretty much as stock as a Miata could get. Um, there's no performance mods, the only mod there is are uh, the cooling aids to keep the car cool during track sessions. Um, I was on um, 340 Treadwear summer tires, uh, BF uh, Goodrich Sport Comp 2s. Um, they were a uh, 195 setup on a 15 by 6.5. Uh, my new tires that I ordered were actually back ordered, so they haven't, you know, at, the, at that time uh, didn't come yet. So um, the only tires that I had were the ones that are on my daily. So uh, those were actually all seasons, um, 500 tread wear. And I decided to say, fuck it, like, let's just throw those on chatter and let's just go to track, right? So um, those 500 tread wears were actually on a 15 by eight setup. Um, this is the first time that I've ever driven on all seasons before. To specify, this is actually my 141 lap. Um, my GoPro actually decided to call it quits. My PB that day was actually a 139 on all season. But I'll go ahead and show you the second fastest lap of the day. Mind you, these tires like had almost no grip when you're really trying to carry through speed in the turn. Um, they tend to understeer a lot, so I had to be very careful with how much speed I was carrying through and carrying in through the turns. And that day, your brake rotors were yeah, my rotors were completely shot back. too. So oh, I was shaking. I was very very conserved with with the braking. Um, I could drive, um, carry a lot more speed, and brake a lot later. Um, I was comfortable with that with myself, but not with the setup that was currently on the car because they were like vibrating like crazy. So I was very, very gentle on the brakes. Especially this upcoming turn, I braked really, really early because I was very um, not confident with the brakes. This coming turn right here, I've been taking it um, in third the entire day. Um, <laughs> it's not turning. Um, but after sitting in a friend's faster Miata, um, I realized that uh, I could take it in second and leave it in second throughout, uh, carrying that speed all the way up uh, to the main straight. So, different gearing though. Different gearing for sure. I did end up actually trying that in the very last two laps of okay. the day. Um, and I actually averaged consistently a 140. So I think uh, for me, those last two turns, um, I think second gear is the right call. Okay. Um, and then also approaching that second to last turn, um, I was told by another friend that I could leave it in third. I was shifting to, up shifting to fourth. There, there is still much more time left for me to shave. Um, obviously considering um, the braking points as well, if I had good brakes, um, there are probably one to two second more to shave. Um, I think I'm pretty confident if I ever do go back to West, I do want to try this setup again. It's very, very fun. Um, I think 137 is possible. Yeah. If not even one more second less than that, was like, like 136. Oh, so like, uh, so my car is pretty much still the same setup. Um, it's all stock, except for like a muffler. Um, suspension is still the same. Tire is still the same. Federal RSRR 255s on 17 by eight. Um, HP plus brake pads front and rear. Um, and that's about it. Oh, let's start out with, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, exciting opening here. You can uh, keep your eye on the red Miata in the front. Yeah, that red Miata just kept spinning out throughout the day for some reason. And the uh, orange 
me out of kind of like dodge and break in front of me, so I kind of yeah. have to dodge it. I think this was actually one of the mixed uh, advanced and high intermediate group. Uh, I think it was a uh, session up before, uh, and I was actually uh, going faster than like I was drunk. Hence the Maybe it's less traffic. Yeah. Right now. similar time on the RS6 but granted like the RS6 was like more modified uh, was a better tire and the RS6 just like has more power I make some mistakes like probably here and there like I think I scrub off speed here or maybe like I could take a corner at a certain corner like in a different gear or like if if it wasn't because of that incident um, maybe I could have done like a like a 130 uh, high 130s or like even like maybe hopefully like get to like closer to like 130 or even sub 130 uh, but that's like something I'm aiming for like maybe the next time I'm going again next event isn't until December uh, at Button Willow I'm gonna be on a brand new setup um, my tires actually came in 200 tread wear. My brake pads also came in sport pads because right now I'm on OEM pads. So I have a lot of expectation for how the car is going to behave. And I also am a little bit intimidated as well because I'm not used to having that much grip and you know carrying that much speed. So that's going to be very brand new sensations for me. I'm aiming for a 212, 213. That's really fast. Yeah. I would say it's, it's okay. Because I only did a 212. Yeah, so uh, you better yeah. watch out. <laughs> yeah, I only did a so like, you probably want my ass to like, <laughs> But we won't be in the same group though. My goal for this upcoming track day, it's probably 210, or sub 210. But yeah, um, looking forward to next track day. Hope you enjoyed our track review. Yep. We love doing these. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. We won't be having much track content in no. the next month or so but we do have a lot of mod contents coming up so stay tuned thank you guys Bye. for watching see you next time